If you wonder what is airspeed and what are the difference between airspeed and ground speed, that's the right video for you. Let's jump into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriele from PilotClimb.com. I'm a trainer captain of the Boeing 737. If you want to become a better pilot or simply make your head around aviation, consider subscribing to the channel where you're gonna get uh, uh, almost daily pilot training videos. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the new subscribers and the people that are commenting the videos. So we are building up this community. So let's jump into the topic. What is airspeed? The airspeed is the relative movement of an object, in this case your aircraft, and the air. So what I mean by that is that if you take your aircraft and you fly into the wind in, the, in, in a day that you've got wind calm, that's your relative movement, okay? Or if you're standing still and you've got wind coming over you because you have a lot of headwind that is the relative movement so the aircraft what does the, what that this means is that the aircraft doesn't care about the ground speed it only cares about the airspeed to fly because if the aircraft doesn't have any ground speed any speed on the ground but he has enough air over the wings to generate the lift he will continue flying so that's very important to understand let's make some examples in order to make sure that everything is clear let's jump into the whiteboard Okay, first of all, we're gonna make the first example, okay? I'm gonna draw two aircraft that are about to take off, and I will make the first example in order to make sure that this is clear, the difference between airspeed and ground speed, okay? So, it, today there is no wind, okay? The first example, we've got an example with no winds, okay? And we've got the aircraft here that is uh, on uh, on the threshold of the runway, ready for the takeoff, okay? So guys, sorry for the uh, for the drawing, okay? It's not perfect, but it's the best I can do. So in this case, of a, there is no winds, and let's say that this aircraft has got a rotation speed of 80 knots. If you don't know what rotation speed, just leave me a comment below and I will help you out. But very quickly, is the minimum speed at which if the pilots will rotate the aircraft, the aircraft will actually fly okay in a no wind situation the pilot needs this airspeed of 80 knots this relative air movement to be generated in order to uh, take off so what will happen is that the pilot will actually accelerate until it reach these 80 knots and then it will take off okay it has to accelerate to 80 knots because there is no wind. So there is no movement of air of e over him, okay? So the air is standing still, so he has to create this movement of the air because if you go uh, straight, if you, if you start to accelerate going straight, the air that is around you is gonna create this airflow because you actually fly into the air. The same happens if you take your hands and you do like this, you will feel that the air is here. So what happens is that you are creating this relative movement. Okay, fantastic. So let's say in the example number two, the rotation speed is still the same, but in this scenario, we've got 80 knots, which is pretty unusual, but 80 knots of wind that is in front of you. So we call it headwind, okay, headwind. I'm gonna draw the runway again and then I'll, I'll explain you what's the difference, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna draw the wind sock in here and then there is this wind blowing like this at 80 knots per hour, okay? So if the aircraft is standing over the runway, even though the pilot doesn't accelerate it at all, the aircraft has got enough wind, enough airflow movement over the wings to generate the lift and takeoff. In fact, if you have, if you, let's say in this example, you are standing over the runway, you've got 80 knots of headwind. What will happen if the pilots will rotate the plane? The plane will actually start flying because again the aircraft doesn't care about your ground speed he only cares if he has enough airflow over the wings to generate the, the the lift okay so in this case the aircraft is gonna have an air speed because this is the movement of the air over the over the over, over the wings of 80 knots but it's gonna have a ground speed or the speed on the ground which is equal to zero knots Okay, so the aircraft only thinks, okay, I'm flying through the through the air, okay, they, I'm, I'm penetrating the air at 80 knots, that's 80 knots for me. But it doesn't know if it's actually the wind that is creating this flow or you are creating this flow by accelerating the aircraft. Fantastic, let's make another two example to make sure that it's clear. So I'm gonna draw here the terrain in there, and then we've got the aircraft number one has got no wind situation, okay, no wind. Fantastic. And then the, the aircraft number two, they are not really the same, but again, sorry guys for my drawing. And uh, so these, these two aircraft, their target is to go from position A, which is this one, 
and they have to fly all the way down to the position B. And the only thing that these two guys do, they keep the co constant ground speed. The speed on the ground is constant and is 80 knots, okay? So going from A to B, no matter what the wind is that day, no matter what the situation, the conditions are, they will keep 80 knots as a constant ground speed, okay? So what will happen is that the aircraft number two, instead of having no wind, is gonna have 10 knots, of headwind okay so it's gonna have a component of an airflow that flies over the plane at a speed of 10 knots okay so these two aircraft will actually start from point a and arrives over the point b on the ground at the same time because they are maintaining the ground speed constant so the airspeed of the aircraft number one is gonna be 80 knots and the airspeed of the aircraft number one is gonna be 80 knots and that's because it doesn't have any wind at all so the flow that is creating is being created by itself by the aircraft accelerating penetrating actually the the, the airflow okay in this case since he has got this 10 knots of uh, headwind the ground speed is 80 knots because it's constant and it's 80 knots however in order to maintain this 80 knots since he has 10 knots of flow already over him he's gonna have an air speed of guess how much 90 knots okay so let me know in the comment below if you actually answer in the right way okay the 90 knots uh, is, is because you have 10 knots of headwind okay so in order to keep ground speed of 80 knots and you have 10 knots uh, as a headwind component you, you will read 90 knots okay fantastic so the same is also true let's make it another example in case of tailwind so i'm gonna draw again the aircraft number one in here, fantastico, is gonna fly all the way down there. The aircraft number two, it's in here. All right, it's gonna fly all the way down there. This is the terrain, beautiful. And in this example, in example number two, the aircraft number two will have 10 knots tailwind. So we, it's gonna have a component of airflow behind him. Okay, again, these two guys, they will maintain the ground speed constant. So it's gonna have both of these guys 80 knots on the ground speed. However, the aircraft number two will have an airspeed of 70 knots in this case and a ground speed of 80 knots. Why? The aircraft with no wind is gonna, it doesn't change anything. So ground speed and the airspeed, okay, airspeed is gonna be 80 knots, both of them, because it doesn't have any wind. Okay, so this is very important to understand because we need to shift our mindset, okay? Because until now we always thought that there is only one speed, which is the ground speed, or the speed that you fly, <coughs> that you use over the ground to go from point A to point B. But with the aircraft, the aircraft actually, the performance of the aircraft, the aerodynamics of the aircraft doesn't care about your ground speed, okay? You may have a zero ground speed, but enough headwind and your, fly, your aircraft will fly without problems okay whether you can have some ground speed but not enough uh, air speed and the aircraft will stall because the aircraft works with the airflow and not with the ground uh, references okay the ground references the ground speed is very important because that will actually tell you how long is gonna be your flight time to get to a position because if you are departing from your house and you want to land I don't know uh, in another airport you that's a distance that is on the ground so the ground speed is important to calculate how long it will take for you to get there and the airspeed is very important to make sure that the flight parameters are within their the limits okay you're not overshooting any speed or you're speeding or you're flying below certain speed all right fantastic I hope you took something out of it if the video was useful for you give it a like and subscribe for to the channel also go to paroplan.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content and i'll see you in the next one